Chapter 3 Reserving, Releasing Elements, Sending and Receiving Changes In this chapter, we will find out how architects can work simultaneously on an ARCHICAD teamwork project. We will present how team members can reserve or release elements throughout their work, how to make modifications, and notify others about the changes. We will also present how to send and receive changes and share the daily design work with other team members. Simple Reservation of Elements In this step, we will find out more about simple element reservation techniques and the various ways such reservation steps can be performed. Meanwhile, we will also begin working on the design project and start generating construction documentation. Activate the file, open MS Building TW Menu command in ARCHICAD. We are opening one of the recent files. To do this, we simply open the Teamwork Shared Project file, the local cached copy we saved onto our computer in the previous step. Please note that the text in square brackets after the file name displays the name of the server computer where the shared file is located. In our case, this is the name of your local computer. The username of the Teamwork member whose saved file we are opening is also displayed here. Now the project is open and we can start getting familiar with how to reserve and work with elements in Teamwork. Switch to the view map of the navigator. Double click to activate the 3.1.1 Reservation 1 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder. This will activate a preset view which restores the floor plan at the stored zoom factor, scale, layer combination and so on stored in this view. You can see a red label arrow with the number 1.1 in the left portion of the screen pointing to a wall. Make sure the Suspend Groups toggle, as well as the Tracker toggle is activated in the standard toolbar. Activate the Arrow tool in the toolbox. Click the wall pointed to by label 1.1 to select it. As you can see, the color of the wall changes, indicating that it is selected. Notice that the selection hotspots of the wall are grayed. This means that the element cannot be edited. In our case, the reason for this is that it is not reserved by you. Hover your cursor over the selected wall and keep it there until the info tag appears. The first line of the info tag says free for reservation, meaning that the element is not reserved by any other team members and can be reserved by you at this time. With the wall still selected, find the Edit, Delete menu command, and notice that it is grayed. This is because the Delete command is not available. Since you have not reserved the element, you cannot delete or modify it. With the wall still selected, press the Delete key on Windows or the Backspace key on Macintosh to delete this wall element. Notice that the wall cannot be deleted. Select the wall again and check the menu commands in the Edit, Move menu and notice that they are also grayed. As you can see, this wall cannot be deleted or modified in any way because it is not reserved by you. With the wall selected, click the Reserve button in the Workspace panel of the Teamwork palette. The wall is now reserved and the selection hotspots of the wall will also turn to their default color, indicating that you can now edit this wall. Deselect this wall. Now select the wall at the point of label 1.2 and click the Reserve button on the Teamwork palette to add this element to your reservations.
Double click to activate the 3.1.2 Deletion 1 preset view, located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map. Press and hold down the control key on Windows or the command key on Macintosh. Notice that when you press down the control or command keys, you will see the cursor shape change to the scissors shape, signaling that you will now trim the elements you click on. Click the wall near the point of label 2.1 to trim the wall segment which falls between the two closest intersecting walls. Now we have deleted a segment of the wall and also the door which was inserted into this wall segment. Similarly, control or command click the walls near the points of label 2.2 and label 2.3 to trim the segments of these walls which fall between their two closest intersecting walls. With these three wall editing operations we have provided a passage all around the toilet and kitchen block. We will perform the same wall editing operations on the upper floors of the building as well. Double click to activate the 3.1.3 Reservation 2 preset view, located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map. This displays the same area of the building on the first floor. Let's also have a look at the various ways of reserving elements. Click the wall near label 1.1 to select it, and then shift click the wall near label 1.2 to add it to the selection. Now, two walls are selected on the current floor. In the Teamwork palette, click the right pointing arrow button to the right of the Reserve button, and select the Reserve selected elements from the small pop-up menu. This is another way of reserving multiple elements that you have added to a selection set earlier. Press the Escape key to deselect the walls. Activate the 3.1.4 Deletion 2 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder. Now use the controller command keys and click the walls to delete the same three wall segments pointed to by labels 2.1 to 2.3 the very same way you did it earlier. Double click to activate the 3.1.5 Reservation 3 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map. and select the two walls pointed to by the labels. This time, right-click on an empty area of the floor plan and choose Reserve Selected Elements from the Context menu. Please note that yet another way of reserving elements would be to select the elements first and then activate the Reserve Selected Elements menu command from the Teamwork menu. Double click to activate the 3.1.6 Deletion 3 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map and to trim the three wall segments at the labels the same way you did earlier. Double click to activate the 3.1.7 Reservation 4 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map. This time, right click the wall pointed to by the label and choose Reserve Selected Elements in the appearing context menu. This reservation technique is useful when you need to quickly reserve a single element. By right-clicking an element, we are initiating two independent actions simultaneously. We are selecting the element and also activating the context menu with one single click. We want to place a door into this wall to provide an additional entrance to the large office space. 
Double click to activate the 3.1.8 Door 1 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator View Map. Click the Door tool in the toolbox to activate it. Click the Door Settings dialog icon at the Info box to open the Door Default Settings dialog. Click the Favorites button at the top of the dialog to open the Apply Favorites dialog. Click to select the Door 1 favorite from the list. And then click OK to apply these pre-saved door settings. We will place a new door with these settings into the project. Click OK to close the Door Settings dialog. Click at the points of labels 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 sequentially to insert a new door into the wall. The first click defines the wall you wish to place the door in. The second click defines the positioning, and the third defines the orientation of the new door. Please refer to the Essentials Training Guide for further explanation about element creation and editing in ARCHICAD. In this step we have seen simple element reservation techniques. We will continue working on this project and become familiar with more advanced element reservation techniques.